Well, howdy doody, fresh and fruity, and welcome to another episode of Trippy Food. Uh, well, actually, maybe this isn't a full episode. We'll call it a follow-up episode, because basically I'm following up on the European Bond Me episode that we did. So if you remember, I made the sandwich with some European cold cuts, and I used a blood and tongue head cheese and a hot head cheese, but they were, they were European. And I happened to be in the Asian grocery the other day, and I found Vietnamese head cheese. And Vietnamese head cheese, uh, it's called, I, I, I don't know if I'm going to pronounce this correctly, but I'll say Gyo Tu or Gyo Tu maybe. We'll find out. If you're Vietnamese, please leave a note in the comments and tell us how to pronounce it correctly. And uh, it says fully cooked head cheese. And head, head cheese typically is fully cooked. I will tell you that that the same brand, which is Gyai Fat, I think, I think that's pronounced correctly, Gyai Fat, that the same brand also had one next to it, which was Gyotu Te Ho. And uh, from what I could tell from the label, the English language on the label, it was cured pork sausage with pork ears and snouts. Now that's typically what's in a head cheese anyways, but uh, my understanding is that Vietnamese head cheese also has pork belly in it. And so my guess is that this is gonna be more dense than your typical head cheese, which will have chopped up bits of the meat from a pig's head suspended in that gelatin. So this one, and this one it almost looks a little denser and maybe creamier. So. We're not gonna make a banh mi today, only because, well, we already did that, and typically I, I, and I don't have a lot of the ingredients. But I do have some cucumber, some carrots, some cilantro. I don't have jalapeno, I don't have daikon radish. Um, so just, I have some toast, so we're just gonna make a sandwich. We're just, we'll make a um, Vietnamese head cheese sandwich. So let's go ahead and cut this. Oh yeah, it, it typically has the same look as head cheese, or I should say Western head cheese. So let's cut some uh, slices of that. Well, before I do that, I'm gonna start with the mayo. I'm gonna get crazy with that. I'm just gonna cut a few slices here so that I don't contaminate the knife with mayo. That seems gelatinous enough. I was just checking to see if maybe it had like a, you know, some sort of you know, rind or casing doesn't. Let's do one more just for... That ought to be enough. go ahead and uh, assemble my sandwich. I cut those slices pretty thick, so this is gonna be a, a meaty sandwich. We'll put our cukes on there. Our carrot. Better be enough. And our cilantro. And I think, uh, I don't have jalapenos, but I do have some sambal sauce. So I think I'm just gonna kind of, you know, put a little bit of sambal sauce on the top of that. just for flavor. There we go. That's a good piece. Oh, 
Wow. That's really chewy. It is a little bit denser. It seems to be lighter on the gelatin. A little flavor's still there. It almost has more, maybe because there's pork belly in there, but it almost has more of a ham taste. Well, yeah, there's some chewiness to that. So, let's try our sandwich now. And again, there is a distinctive taste and texture difference between this and uh, Western head cheese. But this is what you'll find typically in a Vietnamese banh mi sandwich. All right, here we go. That's nice with the other accoutrements. Um, because you have a lot of different textures and flavors in there, and the crunchiness from the cucumber. It definitely tastes the cilantro, the, cr the crispness of the carrot. That's all in there, and the flavors in there too. And it kind of um, adds some dimension to the head cheese. But the head cheese is really good. Again, completely different flavor if you're used to a Western head cheese, a Western type head cheese, completely different flavor. But uh, yeah, that's a nice sandwich. So. Going back to our episode where we did the European banh mi, if you have a chance to get some Vietnamese cold cuts or some Vietnamese meats like this one, um, I recommend that you try that as well and try to get that baguette, which would be uh, proper for a banh mi sandwich. But other than that, this is a really good sandwich. Big thumbs up here. Uh, try to get this if you can. Again, I found this in an Asian grocery. Um, most Asian groceries will have it. And even some Vietnamese restaurants or Vietnamese delis will sell the head cheese like in a, in a case where you can buy it separately. So yeah, definitely give it a try. Big thumbs up. Uh, Vietnamese head cheese. We're gonna finish our lunch and we'll see you soon. Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below and be sure to subscribe by clicking on the trippy food icon right here. Glad you could make it and we hope to see you again soon.